this is the crown of thorn starfish. It's insanely painful, like 30 bee stings all at the same time. It's Whoa. really painful. I've heard the Great Barrier Reef and its inhabitants are in danger. I have to say up front, there are a range of theories as to why, but in this episode we are talking about one of the culprits. It's a venomous creature with an extremely painful sting. The crown of thorn starfish eats coral and when its numbers get high it can cause complete devastation of a reef area. And recently the situation has been getting worse. Even the experts are not sure why. Under the right conditions, there is a, just a massive outbreak. So instead of in an area, say, of one hectare where you'd have one or two, you end up with hundreds, if not thousands. One of the growing theories is that because of so much of the agriculture that's developed along the east coast of Australia, it pumps a lot of nutrients out into the reef, which is beneficial for their larvae. There isn't an easy way to stop the crown of thorns from devastating the reef, but the government here have started a culling program and I'm joining Program Director Russell on one of their missions. I'm not sure what I think about culling any animal, but I'm keeping an open mind. We're on our way to Hastings Reef, and we're here to eradicate any crown of thorns we see. And to do that, we have to head under the waves. Here we go, off to get some crown of thorn starfish. Russell's the boss down here. I can't see anything alive. This guy's far too cute for what we're looking for. Uh oh, running out of air. Where is this starfish? Wow, that's huge. Look at those spikes! It's Russell's job to eradicate this starfish before we take it up to the surface. We were so keen to get the crown of thorns that we pushed it right to the limit. Look at that. We were like way out into the reef. Now, let's take a closer look. So this is the crown of thorns starfish. So that was a good find, Russell. The first thing I thought when I saw it was how big and kind of like engrossing it was on that coral. So th this is the defense right here, right? Yep. It's insanely painful. I've been yeah. stung before with just one. Uh, it's about like 30 bee stings all at the same time. It's Whoa. really painful. So that's why you needed this to bring it out of the water. Uh, there's actually a guy that got stung last year and he's still having surgeries on his hand because the barbs have broken off in his skin and every time they go in to do a surgery they find more barbs. Whilst the starfish has a painful venomous sting, the important subject here is that they are unnaturally overfeeding on the reef and that's why Russell is out here controlling the population. So the fact that we didn't find loads of them is actually a good, good sign that actually things are getting a bit more healthy. Yeah, exactly. So I, ideally you'd go for a dive and maybe find one, which is what we did today. But these guys are doing an amazing job. As a lover of animals, killing an animal just feels a bit wrong. Seeing it there in its own habitat it was actually really beautiful. It's a really beautiful starfish. But I also understand that the reef is being damaged by these starfish. And it's not because of that animal itself, it's not his fault, it's because we've been messing up the ecosystem. So this adventure has been a bit of a double-edged sword for me. 